Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode with United Portable Buildings on our Shed to House series. We're in Raymond, Mississippi and here we're here with Allison and we're going to be taking a tour of her mom's Shed to House and she's going to be telling us about what motivated them to shop with United Portable Buildings and the size of the shed, the construction and what led them to finish it out the way they finished it out and you're going to be uh, absolutely amazed and blown away with the quality of this Shed to House when you get to see the inside of it. So what motivated you guys to, to go down this path and decide to do this instead of a mobile home or something else? Well, we knew we wanted our mother to be close to us and she had just turned 80 and we thought we wanted something smaller that would be low maintenance for her to take care of inside and out. And I saw Facebook post about tiny living, tiny home, shed to home. So that's kind of where it all started for us. Okay, great. Well, when you see what they've done with this building, you're gonna understand why the value in the shed to house market is so much greater than the mobile home market and the other things that you could do in the area. You're gonna be really excited when you see the, the skirting around this building, the back porch on the back of it, what they've done with the bathroom, the bedroom, and especially the kitchen and living room area. So if you don't mind, Allison, would you take us inside yeah. and let's take a look? Let's, let's go. go. So here we are inside Allison's mom's shed to house. Now I'm gonna quit saying Allison's mom and what is your mom's name? Kay. Kay, so we're Kay. inside Kay's shed to house. And Alice is gonna give us a little bit of feedback and a little bit of information, background on the kitchen. So this is the kitchen area they built for Kay and the area that she gets to cook and live and prepare everything in. So Allison, tell us a little bit about the kitchen. Okay, well we did not wanna go with upper cabinets because she's 80 and we felt like she didn't need to be reaching. So we went with the floating shelves, which I think just gives it a clean look. Um, and we love the contrast with the dark shelving with the ceiling. She went with, um, she kind of went overboard. She went with quartz countertops. We had them custom made, the kitchen custom made from a local guy here in Raymond. He did an amazing job, came in and painted them within two days. Um, because we don't have the upper shelves, we went with the island. She's a big cook, she loves to cook, so she wanted a lot of space to cook and plus the extra storage that the island provides. Um, this piece right here, is a very precious piece. It was given to my mom and dad, and we designed the kitchen for that to be right there. So we painted it up and gave it a facelift, and it's perfect there because here are her upper shelves. So she has all of her oh, right spices here. and everything right here, wow. which is very you know safe for her to reach up to. And um, anyway, so it just worked very out creative. beautifully. Yes. Yeah. So a couple of things real quick. So a lot of our customers and potential customers want to know. They always asking like about the cost and how to buy things on a budget. So this block, this uh, island, you were telling yes. me earlier, you purchased this thing. Can you tell me like where you purchased it we and what you paid for it? it? It's a butcher block at mm -hmm. Home Depot and we purchased it for $250. Wow. Yes, and we just sealed it. We just, just polyurethaned it, it to mm -hmm. give it a good seal. Um, she wanted to keep the natural look of it and uh, it worked out beautifully. It's amazing. Just, the quality of it is just so, it's sturdy. Yes. It's, it's, it feels very heavy. And it feels like something you would definitely not mind sitting. It's got some bar stools here on the side that you can pull out and have breakfast here, have your right. lunch or whatever it is you want to do here, your morning coffee. So that's really, really awesome that you guys came up with this idea mm -hmm. on a budget. So to those out there looking to do something in your kitchen area, $250, polyurethane the top of it, put it in, build you an island, and you've got a, a low budget island in your mm -hmm. kitchen for your shed to house. And the back of it, I don't know if y'all can see it, but we it was just the raw back oh, of the yeah. cabinet. So I found some paneling mm -hmm. that kind of looked like wood, and we just glued it on the it back of it. Looks amazing. Second thing I want to ask you about real quick is uh, the, the gentleman that built your cabinets in Raymond. Do you know his name? Yes, um, Joseph. That's all I remember. Joseph. Joseph. Okay, yes. so Joseph, and we'll put that down in our, in our comments <laughs> below in the video for those customers that may be living in the Raymond, Mississippi area. He comes highly recommended. Build the custom cabinets. They said it took about two days to build these, which is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I've looked over these cabinets. I've opened them up, looked at them. They're level. They work. They're smooth. The handles are great. It's amazing craftsmanship. So Joseph, we'll give a shout out to you in our video below. So thank you so much. Now, Allison, we want to take a look at the living room now because okay. you've got the living room and kitchen area kind of all here in one, which right. is typical in the shed to house. It's great for saving space and room. And so I love this. But what I really like about it is starting off is the um, ceiling, the accent ceiling that you did. Yes. So, well, I saw um, this used, this particular wood used on walls, and they're called wall tiles, and we bought them at Home Depot. You get 54 in a box, 
and I thought that would be so cool, and it would kind of give it a lot of character and old look. Mm -hmm. um, and so I found a local guy here that put them up for us, and it just turned out amazing. We had them sealed. And so that brought the depth of the color out. Right. Um, and that'll make them last a lot longer. It'll make them not um, shrink up. Sure. So it really, it's, it is beyond what we thought it would be. I love it. I love how you also used the cross braces from the shed construction, which is from our trusses. You use them as kind of like a beam system. Yes. And you painted them or stained them the same color as Stay the wood. Down. So it all flows and accents the ceiling in such a great way, especially with the white. And uh, for our customers out there, what they've done is they've done shiplap on the walls and they've done a smooth finish shiplap and they've went with the white and it looks really, really great in here with a dark contrast at the top. Also, uh, as you'll check out later in the video, as you can see, as we tour the, the, the rest of the home, they've squared off all the trim around the windows and the doors. Really modern, really cool. It makes it look really sleek and uh, it, it goes with the flow of the entire yes. house here that we're going to be looking at. So we're going to take a moment. We're going to go into the living room area, okay. take a little bit of uh, time to go over there and talk about what we've got going on. Okay. And then we'll go back to the rest of the house. Great. So this is the living room area. It is really spacious. Yes. One thing about this was when we were designing it and measuring it, we really didn't think we had space sure. for what we did. And then once it was all done, I was like, goodness gracious, we do have enough space for she could have done it, been you know had a recliner here, mm -hmm. but she wanted to do a puzzle, so it's perfect for her to do a puzzle. We have several. This is a full size couch. We have a seating here, seating seat here. So it is a lot bigger than I thought it would be when we were measuring it out. And you even have two of the the lamp stands, end TV tables, stands on yes. the end tables yep. down here with her books and everything on yep. it. So you really have as much furniture as you would put in a normal living room normal, area because yep. you've got your TV stand over here. You've got your electric heater uh, on the on the bottom there. Yeah. Very good size television. So it's not like and a lot of times you see in tiny homes, they have the little 23 inch or the little small TVs right. they have to fold out from somewhere. Yeah. And she's got her full TV here. That and eventually can, we're going to put that up. The, you know, sure. you can see where it's powered up. But put it just, on the wall. Just not too high, mm -hmm. but perfect. Yeah, so she can have some things to put on the table as well. Yeah. I think a lot of our customers, they, they don't realize when they're building and ordering through the 3D builder or on a floor plan, when you say 18 wide and you're drawing it out on a piece of paper, it's hard to imagine how much room is actually in an 18 wide yes. building. Yes. And so when you finish them out like this and you see the depth of, how wide and long, and then with the high ceilings that we offer at United Portable Buildings. So that's something to talk about here is, how important do you think it was that we offered a nine foot wall upgrade? Oh, that was the game changer for us. Okay. And that was what made us go with United Portable Buildings because of the options that we had. Right. Um, other sheds that are out there are sheds that you're making to be a home. This was actually a shed that we could be a home, right? you know, with the options that we had. So um, the nine foot ceilings were huge for us and all the, you know, the dormers and mm -hmm. the sure. transoms because the one thing that my mom said was when we talked about a shed to home, all she could imagine was a shed that's in the backyard. And she goes, I don't want to be in a tuna can. Right. So what that meant to me was I needed a lot of natural light. So the, you know, the dormers and transoms were wonderful right. that y'all offered that. And the nine foot ceilings, yeah. That makes it a lot bigger to her and more roomy. Mm -hmm. Great. We don't often get to showcase a nine-foot ceiling that's finished out, so it's going to be really awesome for our customers and our audience to be able to see what nine-foot ceilings look like. Because I'm six foot one, and this is some tall ceilings. Yes. I mean, it's a lot of room up here. And and also, what I like is so this this shed to house has central air and heat, right? Yes. Question, why did you choose central air and heat versus mini splits maybe? Or was that well, even a decision? That it was. The mini splits, and I did do some investigation, and, and I think they're great, but we did not want anything on the wall. Mm -hmm. that, and they're very, they're just not attractive, eye appealing. Okay. So that was the main thing. Sure. And believe it or not, she lived in a home for 30 years that did not have air conditioning or wow. heat. She had floor heats. She did not have air conditioning. Goodness. So um, she was like, I want air conditioning. I want air wow. conditioning. So with the vaulted ceilings, that left me only, I, we just couldn't figure out how we were going to do the vents mm -hmm. because we don't have space sure. between the ceiling and the, the sure. um, roof. So it was ductwork. And I just said, we're going to make it really look cool. Yeah. We're going to add a little bit of uh, flair in here. So mm -hmm. that just worked out beautifully. It looks great. I mean, the way it comes out. 
it almost has like a very uh, uh, industrial look. Yes. It's industrial, yeah. that farmhouse look, and it, it actually blends so well with the dark and the white, and it just, it looks phenomenal. Yeah. I love it. Well, and so okay. she's got her vents here and vents here, central air and heat. So you do have options. A lot of our customers, again, other options that they like, they like to talk about here, us discuss, is the mini split option versus the central air and heat. And I think it comes down to, for you, it was aesthetics, the way it looked. Right. Uh, as far as efficiency, I think they both do the job very they well. Do. They it do. It just absolutely. depends on what your personal preference and yeah. your budget is. And your I budget. think it comes down to budget as well. Yeah. So that is really unique. Well, the great thing about this is you can she can host friends, family, grandkids, yes. whoever's over, yes. and she has all of her room to herself. And this is really, really good. So this is great. So we're going to go on to the next room. So okay, the, the bedroom. bedroom's in the back, right? Right. And then you have a master bath in the back, and yes. we're going to take a look at that. So follow us into the next room, and we're going to show you the rest of the shed to house. So this is the bedroom. This is nice. Yes. And again, the tall ceilings. You don't feel like you're smothered with a low ceiling sitting over you. Right. He's got the nice vault in here. Yeah. So how much input did Kay, your mom, have into this room? Well, she, a lot. She doesn't like, if you can what we've gone through she doesn't do window treatments okay so she's got windows with no no window treatments no window treatments not see what this. i would have liked but <laughs> anyway she did not want doors on the closet okay and so we had to think about another plan there mm -hmm. and we needed extra storage so this was where we found it was in the bedroom in the bedroom mm -hmm. so you were showing me earlier and i want our audience to be able to see this and we're going to take a look at the top up here, I see that you've got attic doors or some type of cabinets, and you said yes. that you built a space up there. Right. And the way you got that space is, if you would, tell us how you got that space. So here, we, since she didn't want doors, and we really didn't have the space because we did go with the queen bed, we just put curtains here. Her closet, she's got plenty of space. She even has a wardrobe back here. But this is what I was talking about, where we capped off, and she has this closet light. And then above that is where we created that extra space for um, an attic. Now, here is where we have the um, air conditioning, and I had someone build it. It just slides up, it braces, and then you can have access to the air conditioning in the event that it needed to be repaired or, or something such as that. So, it's plenty of space for her, and uh, it's worked out very well. That's really cool that you guys thought outside the box to do that. And we're going to see in a minute as we go to the bathroom and you wrap around. You've got this wall here to my left. It's about, what, three feet wide, two and a half, three feet wide? Yes. And that created the closet space we have here, and then it created the ability to put that platform above it, and that's really unique. Right. So I haven't seen this done really this way yes. in any of our buildings anyway, and it's exciting to see something new and different. That's really cool. Yeah. And it's real nice and open. It flows in here, so she's, she's able to have her living space, eating space over yeah. here, come to her bed. It's very cozy in here, though, even though doesn't have a door here, right. it still feels very cozy and, and, and makes yes. you want to just kind of take a nap. And that's coming. We've got a barn door that's okay. going to be there. But another input she had, she did not want a door or anything here. here. So that's why we were able to leave that open and not have a door going into the bathroom. I think it kind of gives it that master bath. You just go straight it into does, your area yep. and it's great. So And it's large enough it is. that you know, there is a separation there and the door's not really necessary. Right. And this is bigger than a full-size bed, right? This is a queen. Queen, mm -hmm. okay. It's so a queen you bed. Have a queen-size bed yes, in here. Yes, with so, two, um, with a dresser mm -hmm. and her um, bedside table on either side. Wow, and, and still have room plenty. for another dresser over here, right? Uh, or shelf for a your shelf. books and the TV, mm -hmm. and everything in here yep. as well. So, and still have room to walk around on every side, yep. get to the closet, and you're not again, you're not feeling smothered, you're not feeling not, tight, not like at you have to all. step over things. I see her house slippers. I'm being very careful not to step on mom's house slippers over here. So. <laughs> Uh, but this is great. It's exciting. I love it. And so uh, I think the last thing or the next thing we want to see, because we're going to go outside in a few minutes and look at the outside. But the last thing on the inside is we're going to take a look at the master bath. And uh, very impressive. It was really cool how they thought it out. And I'll also let you tell you about the mishap they had yes. <laughs> with their washer and dryer space. But that's what we want to do here is educate our customers, our future customers, our audience, because this is going to happen sometimes. You're going to plan it out. You're going to start building it. And then you're going to realize, you know what? We didn't think that through quite right, but you came up with another plan yeah, and it looks great and I'm excited great. to show our audience that in a few minutes as yes, well. Let's go take a look at the bathroom. Okay. So this is the master bath. This is really, really cool as the rest of the house is. You've heard me say the word cool about 30 times because it's really, really cool. 
So Allison, I'm gonna let you tell us about the bathroom and kind of what your thought process was because your mother is how old again? She just turned 80 last She's week. She's 80 years old. Yes. So this is a, a project for her again. So I'm sure that when you did this, you were thinking about your mother and her age and how yes. to best suit her needs. Yeah. So take it away. And so that's why we kind of chanced on the, the bedroom areas because we needed to make the bathroom bigger mm -hmm. in the event that we needed to um, have access for a wheelchair. So most home to sheds are not, uh, shed to homes are not this large, mm -hmm. but we do have very, a lot of space in the event that we need to do that. Um, this is where we had the mishap that you okay. were talking about. All right. um, I had a, a stackable washer and dryer in this little cubby area. Sure. And um, it just didn't work out with the commode. My design flawed. <laughs> okay, it happens. So it was so, a learning process, definitely, right. and um, but we made up for it in other ways. So we're going to be looking at other, air, you know, ways to make sure. that space, but right, right now she's using it as extra closet space. So, right. But it's a great space, um, and it just shows you how much room is really in the bathroom. So. Sure, because you ended up with a whole extra part of the oh, building here that you can use for something. I know. And so, uh, and, and I'd be interested to see what you end up coming up with. And again, the high ceilings. So you've got all the space on top of this right. that you're building here. So if you look on top there and you, as the viewers look and they can see on top, uh, there's so much you could probably do yes. that on top. I'm sure and some of our viewers may have ideas as well. That, when the door, uh, the transom, more light, more light. coming in. Yeah. She wanted light, 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 light. So this was a perfect space to do that and high right. enough that it does provide the um, privacy while she's in the shower. Sure. Mm -hmm. Now these pieces that you have in here, are these custom built, bought? Or... No, we bought these at Home Depot. Home Depot. Yeah. Home Depot is getting a lot of shout outs today. Yes. So this is another piece from Home Depot. The, the vanity here is from Home yes, Depot. marble top. It's heavy. It's yeah. very heavy. And this piece was around 520. Mm -hmm. And that piece was 130, I think. Wow. Yeah. So um, it was not expensive at all to provide everything that she needs. That she needed, all the cabinet mm -hmm. space and everything. Yes. And then you've got the walk-in shower here, or the the more like this shower. What is this called exactly? The type of shower. Yeah. This is? Well, it's a um, just a what is it called? A, I, I can't. An insert. It's an, it's insert, an insert shower. Yes. So you can just walk into it. it doesn't have the doors on it. Has a shower curtain, uh, as you're well, seeing you know, right now. She's gonna have a door. Okay. Yeah. She wants it. We did not. Okay. Once again, it's one of those things we didn't think she would have enough room. Okay. But once we built it and everything, we realized that she is going to have enough room okay, for great. A, a shower door. So she is going to great. have that installed. And this was a little bit of a larger shower just so she could put her seat in there and sit down and shower. Um, so it's, you know, a little bit larger than sure. what you would typically see. Wow. That's awesome. It's just so great to see all the functionality that you can get out of the building space this Yes. small but big so again that shed to house space so many people the discussions the talks uh and uh even in tate county mississippi right now i'm being asked to go and speak to them because they're trying to pass something to get rid of the ability to have these in their county oh, that would be and it's like mistake. no don't do that thank yeah. you it would be yeah. a mistake because these are truly built in my opinion in a lot of ways built better than a lot of homes right that are built in the framing the, the construction the quality and that's something that we pride ourselves on, and it's something that when I got here, it's one of the things you were telling me when I first got here, that the quality of the building, you were satisfied yes. with it and excited about it. And so we and love being it. from in a small town, we this spread that right. like wildfire. No one in Raymond has ever done this. Right. So when they heard that we were doing this, everybody wanted to come and see it. So the local builders came, and they were just amazed at how it was like a home that they themselves sure. built. So it was, uh, it's, it's, it's the thing to do, popularity-wise. Awesome. I mean, I think it is for young couples, Great. for people that are in our situation that are looking to move in their their elderly parents. Mm -hmm. It's just it, to us, it was not an not an option at all. I mean, right. not it was. This was what we this needed is what to you do. needed. It was right. perfect. That perfect. is awesome. Yes. And for those college kids that never want to leave home, they can you know put that in the backyard as well. We've got four of them, so they'll have a space. <laughs> In the future, okay. so. so we're about to head out now. We're going to go check the outside out. I want to see yes. the back porch and talk about the mishap and how you fixed the okay. mishap. Okay. So let's go Great. do that. All right. Coming to the outside of the building here. Wow. This is so nice and breezy. Yes, there's always a breeze. Always That's great. A breeze on That's this great. Yeah. So the first thing I want to show our, our audience and our customers is the mishap. So you, you yes. showed it to me earlier, but now we get a chance to show our customers. So if you would, I'm going to let right. you take it and explain what you did to fix that. Well, she, we were going to put the stackables in the 
bathroom mm -hmm. and with that mishap we created a space here so we did take away a little bit of her um space on her back porch but it worked out beautifully right and it's a, it's a four by four area i had a door that i've had forever a window we added some character wanted mm -hmm. to kind of be a part of the house sure and uh use some great lit timber that we bought at home depot my 22 year old son built it so it's not the prettiest it's not the best but it's <laughs> very functional and it works and it just uh it, it's perfect it looks great i mean it, the gray blends in with the gray of the building yes. which matches your house you were showing me earlier right. so it all kind of blends on the property i love the way you guys repurposed the door and the window they're yes. they're like from like antique right. very old but it has the old key lock here on the door rusted yeah. And it looks really great. And when you open that, it's insulated, right? It is. It is okay. insulated. Yep. And then you have a stackable, you have a stackable washer and dryer in mm -hmm. here and everything. So yep. as we open it up here, oh, that's perfect. Yep. And this is what a lot of our customers and audience love to see as far as space saving in a shed. The house right. is something like this. And we talk about it with our customers a lot mm -hmm. is stackable. Find a space in the shed, the house that you can do something like this. Yep. Takes away from having two and you save a lot of room. Yeah. I love this door. Love and it. You know, if you want to put it on the back porch and have more space in your bathroom, sure. that's an option too. So yeah. it works out beautifully. Because with the mm -hmm. way you guys built this, it, you've got the covering here. It's not being affected by the weather. Right. And it didn't really hurt anyone on uh, the space on the inside. No, and your mother's getting to come out in a pretty beautiful yes. breeze and do her laundry. Yeah. So that's great. <laughs> That is awesome. This and who built the back deck area? We the same one who finished out the house for mm -hmm. us. He um, did the front porch, the awning, as well as this back screen porch. Well, Allison, thank you for letting us see the back deck area and the view out here is just gorgeous. It's beautiful. The deck is amazing. The breeze is blowing, and we got to see what you did to take care of the mishap that we had inside and we discussed earlier. So our viewers, they love to see that, and we're going to go outside now and take a look at what you did to the outside of the building. Okay, so we're back outside again. Back where we started on the front porch, and since we looked at the back porch, you said that the same people that did that and built that built the front porch as well and the awning. Right. So tell us a little bit about the porch and the awning and what your thought process was at and the functionality of it. Well, I had seen on Pinterest mm -hmm. a building or a home that I had an awning very similar to this, and that mm -hmm. was what I had vision for this front area. So, but my main concern was that the building itself could not support something this large and this size. And the man who built it absolutely said, yes, there's no concern there. It can support it, this house. It's just solid Great. as a rock. So we were able to do that, extend it. This is a four foot porch out. Okay. Um, it gives her wonderful curb appeal where she can put her plants and she has chairs and she comes out here and enjoys her coffee. Right, right, It's sure. plenty of, of, of space for that's awesome have a wind chime on the end yes and so you were telling me earlier about the metal on top of the awning here so when you bought your shed you yes. guys needed the metal to match right right and i did not even know that was an option so i called um the company and mm -hmm. spoke with uh, jessica and she said absolutely we can send that out they brought it down i met with some where they were doing another site mm -hmm. build and met it and brought it and it was perfect. I just didn't realize y'all did that. That's so I awesome. thought that was great. It is one of those unknown options. It's kind of like the secret menu at Star, uh, Starbucks, yes. the hidden menu. So to our customers and viewers out there that may be potentially looking to purchase or if you've already purchased, just so you know, if you're doing a project where you're doing an addition, a porch and awning or anything to your shed to house, we will help provide you the metal that will match exactly to your original order so that it all blends very well. So that's one option that a lot of people just don't know that we do. So let's take a look around at the rest of it. I'm excited to show the, the customers the skirting. So let's go around the side over here and let's take a look at that. Okay. This looks great. There's so many options sure. that y'all don't even list, really. You're right. <laughs> and so when I was saying, I wish I could do this, I wish I could do that, my rep was like, well, we do that. Yeah. We do that. So I was just amazed at with... Um, Everything that y'all did, y'all sure. even installed the windows. I bought the windows, right. but y'all installed them. Right. And uh, that was wonderful. And it's just been a great, great experience all around. All right, so Allison, another view of the brick skirting around here. And if you would, just kind of tell us again about the quality of the brick that you purchased. You mentioned that it was a cheap brick, but tell us yeah. uh, kind of how that came to look like this. Well, we used the, the least expensive. It's just a red brick. Okay. And the... Um, masonries that put it in did a smeared look for us so it would have that old Chicago look sure and also I wanted the gray to blend in well with right. the existing color of the building okay 
And then you've got the vent down here for ventilation. Yes, ventilation, it vents, it lets the building breathe. Mm -hmm. This is also a for sure way to keep out critters. Right. Um, so yeah, that we have two vents, four vents on the front, two vents on the each side, and four vents on the back. Wow, plenty of ventilation mm -hmm. through there. And that goes ahead again with what we said earlier about the other option, like you did the floor insulation with United Portal Building. So yes. we insulated your floor for you so you don't have that to worry about. And so the floor doesn't get cold from the air flowing through right. during the winter. Mm -hmm. And that still allows it during the summer to breathe and not build up any humidity or anything under there as well. So what we got back here on the back wall, you've got some things over here that maybe our customers want to see. So can you explain to us? Yes. Well, this is her, um, we have the endless hot water tank. Okay. And you can put it inside or out. Okay. So we chose the one outside just to preserve more space inside. Right. And then, of course, her um, central and air unit here. Okay. So, and it just, I mean, it's all compacted right here and it looks nice and it, it turned out beautiful. Oh, no, it looks really good. And it yeah. looks, it looks like it fits to the outside of the building. Right. So this is infinite hot water for her. So mm -hmm. she's got that covered. Yep. And if you don't mind me asking ballpark, what did, what did that cost possibly? The Renai, which is the, um, the most expensive, it okay. was 2,200, I okay. believe. Okay. Yes. And that's gas, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. We, so I, she has a petroleum tank. Okay. Yes. Okay, and great. so with her, she, because the gas um, is used in the oven. Okay. And her cooktop. So we fill that tank once a year. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So. So that saves on her electric sure. hot water. So she has no electric hot water. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay, great. And then the central uh, heat unit here, I see the pad that it's on. Is yes. that concrete under there? No. I didn't think no. so. Mm -mm. They just uh, made a little dirt pad. Sure, and, and they put that, that place on there. On there. Mm -hmm. So you don't even have to spend the money for a concrete pad no. here, mm -mm. which is really unique. So you just put that on there and it looks very stable, looks nice. Yes. And blends with the AC unit and the central unit really well. Yep. Okay, great. Well, let's go to the back and take a look at some okay. more stuff on the back of the building. It's really good. I'm trying to get over, over how beautiful this view is. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this deck is even more beautiful from the outside, really, just because you see how high it is off the ground. That's really unique. Yeah. So the back of the shed, did you guys have a reason for it being that high, or is it just basically no, level just basically with the building? No, just basically with the land, with the, the land. land was, and okay. yes, level with the building. Okay, got you. And the skirting continues around, another vent here. And then this is for the stove, correct? It is. Okay. It is. So your vent hood that's on the inside. Yep. Got you. So Allison, you were telling me that the way you uh, found UPB was through a Facebook ad. And that was through one of our resellers, Riverbridge Cabins in Brookhaven, Mississippi, yes, Jenny. Jenny. She right. The so can you share with us just real quick about that experience and yes. that relationship that you built there? She had um, on Facebook Market mm -hmm. one of her homes and I immediately contacted her and we made a connection and she was so knowledgeable of the product. She believed in the product mm -hmm. and she educated me on UPB buildings versus other other sheds. Sure. And so, and all the um, options that, and that was what sold me. Okay. That was what sold me. And she worked diligent with me. I drove her crazy. She was always there to answer any phone calls or texts. Uh, we made changes along the way. And she was always just such a pleasure to work with. That is awesome. So your husband was telling me earlier that the, one of the first interactions he had with her was on the back patio behind your home. You handed him the phone and she, he's speaking with her. And he said, he's just drilling her with questions. And he's like, this has got to be a scam. And he's trying to find out how legitimate it is because it's coming from a Facebook ad. Right. And you wanted to make sure it was something that was real. Right. And as we've seen, it's real. It is so real. And so is your husband a believer now also he as well? He is absolutely a believer as well as the entire town of Raymond. That is going to be awesome. I can't <laughs> wait to see this go out and see all the, the local people that know you and your family mm -hmm. and their reactions and, and just how happy they are for you and your family and what you've done here. Yes. So that's exciting. Thank you for sharing that. I appreciate yeah. it. All right. Well, Allison. We have done the full tour. You showed us everything we came here to see and it was better than we expected, much better. Okay. Uh, it's actually one of the best looking shed houses we've seen since we've been doing this business. And I'm so excited that you let us come down and take up your time and take up your mom's time and hopefully didn't in interfere with her day. And uh, the whole process down here that you guys did, the whole project is just phenomenal. Our viewers are Thank gonna love it. We're looking forward to putting it out there on the social media platforms and hearing all the feedback and seeing other customers wanna do the same thing as you did. So yeah. thank you for your time. And as promised, we have the UPB $500 gift card this for your shopping trip. So, awesome. so 
We love that you love that we did that. Oh, goodness, and we appreciate yes. your time. It's been so much fun. The property is gorgeous. Uh, if you're ever down in the Raymond, Mississippi area, maybe give them a shout on Facebook or something, but it's 20 acres of just gorgeous property down here. They have an old barn to my left over here that's just beautiful. And of course, the shed, the house. And you said Raymond, Mississippi, you've kind of become popular in the area, right? People are hearing yes. about this project. no one has done a shed to home. So we, when we were building it, several people came and looked right. and I, I think we've gotten a lot of ideas Wait. for the town. Yes. You are about to have a lot of people know who you are right now. <laughs> so looking forward to uh, more episodes of our UPB shed to house tours. So stay tuned for more of those. And we're looking forward to seeing you again. Maybe we'll be in your town next time. And if you're interested, go to our website, fill out one of our forms and request to be part of our YouTube series that we're doing, which is also going on Facebook, Instagram, and all those social media formats. And we look forward to seeing you guys again. Thank you so much and have a great day.